make more videos they say. Sure, I'll make some videos. I'm a boring, miserable person. I've got nothing to video. Boy. Hi. Well, here's one for you. Um, yep, this was trash. Found it in the rubbish. Can't afford to buy things like this for myself. So I thought, whoa, cool. Anyway, got it home. I'm like, now what? I didn't really have anything else. This is all that was there. And flipped her over. This is a Sterling, by the way. That's an LD vacuum cleaner. Uh, and on here it said 14 volts with an adapter of 24 volts, one amp. So I got me a 24 volt, one amp adapter with the right cord and plugged it in for like overnight. Turned it on the next morning, lasted like two seconds. Tried it again, charged it up for like 12 hours or something. Same thing, it didn't last. And I'm like, what do I do? This is like rubbish. I can't, you know, afford to go buy one. So, what I did was, looked online to see how much a battery was first, and they're like $50 for a standard or something like that. I'm like, wow, $50, that, that is a lot for me. Um, and I'm not spending $50 on a battery if I don't really know that this works at all. And, you know, it's not like I have anything else to go with it. It's meant to have little sensors and the charging dock and what have you. So really, for me to spend any money on this, I'd be silly. Um, so I started scratching my head, you know, what can I do? And me... I have lots of these floating around. What are they? One eight. What are they? One eight six five O's. Lithiums. So I'm like, okay. Let's see what this battery is like. I took the battery out, and I did that to it. Um, it was a risk, but. I figured I might as well destroy it because I wasn't getting anything out of it. It was no good anyway. And I figured best to destroy it so I can confirm how they run and if there's anything inside. So I've pulled it apart, counted my cells, and this is what I have done. That's my lithium upgrade. Um, what I've done is this. Now, just pretend they're not there. These don't exist. They're just, I didn't cut them off. Um, just in case it didn't work, I could reuse this for something else. Um, these are two cells from here. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. And this is also a part of the battery pack, which fits there somewhere. Now, I destroyed it and I found this with a little uh, thermal sensor on there. And then within the battery, um, this battery was sort of divided into two sections. And in the middle of the sections, you had a thermal fuse to... actually link up the two sides. So what I did, I'll just leave it like that. What I did is I had a few of these around, which that's what those extra wires are for. Again, pretend they're not there, you can just chop them off. Um, you can't really use them at all. They're just not thick enough. They're not gonna carry the amperage through. Um, so you'll need two of these. Um, and for batteries and so I suppose some tape would be handy and two wires which I had just floating around in my scrap wire pile and I did it this way to 
also save me a lot of soldering and time if it wasn't going to work. Whatever. Maybe I'll get the other one out. Maybe this is easier. Yeah, it's just not going to work for me, is it? Couple wires with two little, can you see it, the rings on them, so you can put a screw on it and it screws onto a board or whatever. All I did was pass these, put the little holes in the back of the board, board box, and sit them in place, which you can't see, just in there. So it's resting under the spring, got a firm connection, it ain't going anywhere. And that's that fusible link that I told you about. Actually, I'll just cut these off now because I, I don't need them. And again, one at a time because they are connected. There we go, there we go, and there, and there. Yeah. Alright, so all you have is your four batteries, and then you link up the negative and positive from these two with the fuse that's within here. And I put it in there, that way I can close it up like this, and technically it's kind of the same as what it was in the original pack hiding amongst the batteries to actually get that thermal contact that it would need and then you just wrap uh oh oh bugger okay we start So again, the fuse is sitting in between those batteries there. Just enough space for it. Um, and yes, I do recommend you put all of this back in because, you know, safety, you don't want to wake up to a house on fire or anything like that. Um, I have tested it. And that is the only reason why I'm putting this online because I'm no it works I still probably wouldn't leave it unattended charging you know you really shouldn't leave anything unattended and you will need to like I said chop out those wires the original those ones because they just don't have the amperage you need to put in some thicker wires it's up to you whether you do what I did and just find some wires with some little ends on them and just slip them in or solder it up. And then this um, is purely to make contact within there. Also, I have done this because it spaces it out perfectly, jams it in there nicely and gives it no wiggle room. Um, also by doing it this way, um, these two batteries are not connected in any way. All they are is literally to fit the posts here. That's it. Um, no soldering required. You can solder it if you like. But all I did was wedge up the little metal bits. Um, it, uh, yeah, it took me a couple of batteries to find good ones with some. Just and you'll have some little holes within the metal after you play it a little bit and just pass it through there and did a little twist job. Never work. Now. Also with this, because it has this sensor on it, we do need to poke a hole through here in the center. 
so we can pass that sensor through it so it can actually reach those batteries um, I haven't tried it but I'd say yes you do need to do this otherwise if you don't have that sensor on there it won't register that the battery is like it I don't know so now by doing this all this fits in nicely They fit like pretty good on that, and then that just rests on here a little bit. Again, make sure you get that little sensor there in the hole of the tape, so it can also rest in between those batteries. I could probably tape it all together, but I'll leave it like that. And there you go. We'll just drop this in. It is a nice tight fit. Uh, yeah, I'll put this in right. what I did. What did I do? Let's try to hit them on the other side. Oh. 